better deal than Indiana got. Uh, Boston can clinch at home. Atlanta wants a game seven. Paul Pierce hobbled. We've seen that before. Fourth quarter. Celtics up seven. Kevin Garnett, jumper in the paint. Looks like Boston's in good shape. Here come the Hawks. Al Horford. Hawks down three, and then Horford again, the open jumper. Hawks still down three. We got under four and a half play. And then Josh Smith, boy, a big fellow like Smith throwing that to Horford, take another look. Hawks down just one. Horford all pumped. Boston not so much. Less than 3.30 left. Smith, he had 18. What a crossover dribble by him. And Atlanta's got the lead. All right, less than two and a half to play. The Celtics down three. Pierce goes baseline. He had 18. Boston still down one. Final 40 seconds. Remember how the Hawks co-owner called Garnett the dirtiest guy in the league? How's this for dirty? 28-14 and five blocks. First Celtic in the playoff history with that. Boston had the lead. Looked like Joe Johnson was going to take it back in the final 10 seconds. And what a defensive play by Pierce. And Doc Rivers, we not only got the block, I, I think we got the ball. Doesn't get the ball, so you got three seconds left. The Hawks down two. Smith going to inbound to Horford, and he's fouled by Marquise Daniels. That's a hard foul. Now, Horford can tie it if he can make both free throws. He's a 73% free throw shooter. This is his first one. Atlanta made 9 of 10 on the night. That's the one they missed. He made the second one, and then the Hawks foul Pierce. He makes the first, and the second one is in again, out again, Finnegan. So the Celtics are up three. The Hawks, what are you going to do? Well, what are they going to do? They're going to lose their eighth straight playoff game at Boston. Jeff Teague can't get anything going there. Boston advances 83-80. First, first off, I want to say uh, thank you to their owner for uh, giving me uh, some uh, some extra gas tonight. You know, just because you got a bunch of money don't mean you can open your mouth. I got to tell you, um, I was just so proud of our guys that the last play that Kevin scored on, that's hard to do under pressure. Kevin Garnett, you know, our best player, he just really came out with something on his mind, wanted to advance to the next round. He, he really took the challenge personal and he took upon himself to carry us tonight. And uh, that's what the great ones do. So the Celtics get the second.